I'm Wheezy, that's Rory, and we're gonna show you what to do. It was like a low budget furniture commercial. <laughs> <laughs> Every time we get together in front of cameras, it's always about... That's your choice. This is my brand, dude. I wanted to like really get to know you. <laughs> this is part of my story. Do you know what this is? I'm aware. Do you have one? No. I, well, I have a dick. <laughs> I don't have a rubber one that's pink. Well, I mean, so this, depending. this How you is look a, at it? a dildo, but with a suction cup. Okay. This one, I would say, is like silicone, right? It's not my personal fave. I like glass because it's a lot better and like a lot safer and more clean, but you know. Anytime a girl has sent me a video before we fucked of her using a dildo, I'm always like, oh, she's in for a terrible experience. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> that that dildo's way bigger than me. <laughs> this one. Well, we don't have to get specific. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is more of like a new era thing, right? Like the suction cup, you can like fuck the wall with it. But I'm gonna show you what my mom has. <laughs> Haven't I met your mother? <laughs> <laughs> now, this is the original magic wand. Fellas, these are our teammate. We should not be intimidated by these things. No. This, this should be involved with everything. You don't have to do a fucking thing. Oh my God, dude. Yeah. This is for your pussy? So you know how they said back in the day, like they're, like doctors would treat hysteria? No. Have you ever heard about that? I haven't. So instead of believing that um, women could just be angry or have anxiety, they would <laughs> treat mm. hysteria with- They called them witches, I think. Oh yeah. I think yeah. there was a Salem witch trials. Basically. <laughs> and they would treat women with like vaginal massages and or shit like this. I, I can tell you right now, ain't no way it was going this fast. Like I know they calling it the original, but this gotta be a remake, cause this shit is super speed. There's no fucking way. There's no way. What does this sound like, by the way? It doesn't sound like a phone ringing. What's the noise you guys hear? A plane starting. A plane? <laughs> so even though this seems like it's 100 years old, it does require electricity. But really, what's thousands of years old is the dildo. Yeah, but what was it made out of originally? Probably like wood or something or Play-Doh. What they had back in Egypt, what, what, what was Play-Doh called, clay? What did they build the pyramids with? Bricks. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what this is? It looks like a fish from the Discovery Channel. It's a chastity cage. More ordinarily used now for like BDSM when you're trying to make someone submit. Here, take this. Wait, is this for, what is this for? To lock your dick up. Why would you lock a dick up? Why well, would you lock a pussy Matter of fact, we should lock some dicks up. <laughs> <laughs> you get hard and you like feel a little bit of pain and like it's that pain and pleasure thing. But right oh, now, okay. like, most doms, right, femme doms, or I'm sure like, you know, there's some male doms too, but they put their subs in it and like basically play around with them and they're like forced to stay in the cage and not fuck. It's like delayed orgasm, you could say, things like that. It falls in that category, but I mean, I've never personally used it. That's a fat ass head, by the way. It looks fun though. Now let me tell you what this do. I actually have one in my suitcase right now that's attached to a remote, but. Benoit balls, do you know what they're for? I don't. Basically, these are used to practice and strengthen the muscles. Okay. Right, this so- This is the gym for sex. Yeah, you okay. give it a little Suzanne Summers. Yes, yeah, so this is the bench press of vaginas. Yeah. Gotcha. If, if okay. we could on YouTube, I'd put it in me right now. But basically, you, um, you can also get like certain sensations from it, like you can wear it around and be turned on during the day. But the one I have, it's really just like a vibrating egg, but when you're on Amazon or certain websites, you can't say that you're buying a vibrator, so you have to say Benoit Ball, so it looks like it's medical. See, I'm too immature for this because if Shorty texts me like, hey, yeah, I'm doing my taxes, I'm turning it on high. <laughs> I would do it at the most awkward times. But like, oh, just at lunch with my mom, and then full full speed. So that's a Ben Wabo. I don't know who Ben is or who Wa is, but. All right, now what does do? I've used that before. No! Mm -hmm. Tell us more. Again, I'm immature. I just started giggling. <laughs> Why'd you use it? Uh, she wanted to use it, and I was interested too on what it did. It... The, the premise of a cock ring is so that you can stay harder, right? It's... Oh, I thought it was to vibrate on her. Click that's the newer development, like this one that's in here, the little bullet inside, yeah. but generally a cock ring is so that you can stay hard because it squeezes all the blood, gotcha, um, okay. right? The and one I used was for her. Everything was for her. Okay. What do you do for yourself? Uh, not quite. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. 
This is oh, like that's like uh, those Russian dolls that you just keep opening and it's different. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it is. It's like this is a little family <laughs> effect. So, um, anal plugs, right? I'm sure you know why the end is like that. To pull it out, right? Yeah, because a lot of butt plugs have been lost, surgically removed. Okay. Um, especially some of them that are like mag, like are metal. They are like they magnetize mm. in your body. There's like some weird shit going on. But I've had a lot of listener letters where people are like, I got an anal plug stuck in my ass. Okay. It just goes all the way up. Like your pussy, I guess it could just like push it back down. It'll fall down eventually. But like these, it's hard yeah. to shit it out. No, I guess it gets lost up the butt. I'm no doctor. Looks like internal damage immediately. Yeah. They're the, cute though. They look like black carrots. They do. Oh my god, these are so fun. This is gonna be fun. What is this? Okay. Well, lesbians are supposed to use this, but they don't. Cause I know, like, cause I've fucked them all. Um, dental dam. A dental dam. Okay. For when you're eating puss. A barrier when engaging in oral, vaginal sex, oral, anal sex, okay, in case you want to eat the booty like groceries, to reduce the transmission of bodily fluids, germs, and STDs. When used properly, um, it'll reduce the risk, chlamydia, gonorrhea, genital herpes, and AIDS. Wait, well, if I'm putting this up against a woman's vagina, I should not be eating her vagina. <laughs> Yo, this is the stupidest thing I've ever seen in my life. It's just so If you have to use a dental dam, you shouldn't be eating her pussy. Like, hmm, I don't know. But maybe I should put some rubber in front safe. of it. No, you shouldn't put your tongue on it, period. I thought this was going to be a little sexier. <laughs> oh, it's strawberry. It tastes like a balloon. This is a riding crop. Sorry, what? Riding crop. A riding crop. Mm-hmm. Because, like, okay. if you're on a horse. Oh, OK. You know what I mean? But test it out. It's not, it's this not is, too bad. This is to hit asses, I assume? Or faces. Yeah, I'm not. Or tits. I'm not into the face smacking during sex. Really? Man, I just haven't gotten there yet. What a good person you are. I mean, I'll, I'll do the choking and spitting in the mouth, but just like your cheek, Whoa. your cheekbones, they just feel more sacred to spitting me. Spitting in the mouth? Yeah. I'm sorry. On the scale of nasty, spitting in the mouth trumps a slap. You're the one putting rubber in front of a vagina to eat it. I didn't. <laughs> Yeah, this isn't too bad. This is a lie detector test, here. Do not touch my nipples. <laughs> Have you ever used this on someone? I haven't, no. I could loosen it for you. Do you like your nipples touched? I do. These are nipple clamps. Although it looked like we are trying to hot wire and start a car, we're not. <laughs> um, I hate my nipple squeeze. Oh yeah, this can't go on my nipple. There's no fucking way. And it's got a screw? This is white people What shit. type of diabolical shit are people into? Oh, a screw to loosen it up, right? To this is it... like saw. So I've actually seen a lot of like people do like uh, solo movies on like OnlyFans, because mm. I'm a supporter of the arts. I am too. And a lot of them use nipple clamps alone. I've seen people put this on their clits, their pussy, like, which I don't get, but it's, it's all part of BDSM. And you know, like torture. Again, this is why I stay away from being slapped in the face or having my nipples grab. Because what if I like it? What if I like heroin? <laughs> Bro, I don't want to so I don't want to try it. Dark. This is one of my no bullshit. Like I have one at home. Okay. It's not a choker. That'd be a nice necklace. Well you could choke her with it, I guess, but Fashion this is Oh uh, okay. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Maybe you should talk about it before and then uh -huh. make it fun. Okay. This is a breathable ball gag in essence, right? So basically, um, ball gags are part of BDSM, mm. but this one's really fun because of the spit, because it like drips over time. Okay. Uh, oh, it's, it's my uh, teeth, damn. It's like marinating saliva, more or less, uh -huh. with time. I understand. Ha uh ha. -huh. I, I totally know what you're saying. <laughs> And the last one. Do you know what these are? Those are candles. What kind? Uh, red, purple, and black candles. Ho candles is what they're called. Well, don't shame them. Uh, <laughs> they're like every other candle. Okay, drip. All right. Oh, I like these. Yeah, I'm into the wax thing. Oh my god. You like people getting waxed or you like wax? <laughs> Both, I guess. Ah! Oof, that was hot. Like. That's a flame. Holy shit. Dude, right? It's like fire. This is not the way it went with me. <laughs> she was way more gentle. Now that I've had my candles blown, thank you, Rory, for coming to show everybody what it do. See you next time.
That shit hurt a lot. 